Hello and welcome to the Fat Gent. I thought I'd put together a wee video today showing, showing uh, my camera gear and what gear I intend to bring on holiday with me. Next week I head off for a month to Thailand and my intentions are to do fairly frequent videos while I'm away showing, uh, showing the Fat Gent's holiday in Thailand. So first, I'll, I'll start with what camera I'm going to bring. Now, I've been back and forward and back and forward about cameras. Uh, by the way, no, no, get to this in a minute. Right, I've decided I was going to bring my wee Panasonic Lumex. I think it's a DMC TZ40. I've had this for a few years. There's nothing fancy about it. I just, I love the photographs it takes. Very handy. Nice compact size. It's a great wee camera. But I've sort of decided that the iPhones have come on that much now that I probably don't need to bring this. I'm probably okay with. For a pocket camera, I think the iPhone will suffice. Uh, I use iPhone 6. And it's perfect. Can't fault it. So camera wise, proper camera wise, I'm going to bring my Canon EOS 750D. Right, and I've been debating what lens to bring. There's going to be a lot of food photographs, I hope. So I thought, right, a macro lens would be quite good. So I've got this EFS 60mm macro lens it takes some absolutely fantastic photographs some good sort of uh, portrait photographs and some great macros but the problem is if you're taking a macro of like a of food you have to be t quite far away to get the plate in so it's really it's not suitable so I'm not taking this lens and I thought, well, just take the kit lens, 18 to 55 mil, nice and light, handy enough lens. So I, I was happy enough settling on this, and I've done a wee bit of looking up on, on YouTube and a few videos, and I discovered this AFS 24 millimeter lens. And I'm fair, no, I haven't tried this, this only arrived today. What I'll do, I'll put it on the Canon. And I take some photographs, uh, some close-up photographs of some of the, uh, of some of those samurai figures up there. And I'll maybe do the next part of the video, recording through this. Now, from what I understand, again, photography is in my forte. But I understand this is called a micro four thirds camera and so like a 24 mil lens is maybe the equivalent of a, like a 35 mil lens or something like that i am probably a bit wrong with that but it, i think it's near enough so the next part of the video will be filmed through this and i'll let you know whenever that's happening so obviously to use the camera you need to bring a laptop so it's going to bring my what is it macbook pro with me I didn't really want to hawk a laptop around with me. Yeah, we're doing a bit of travelling about, moving about. I just couldn't really be annoyed bringing it with me. And last week I saw that there was a new iPad Pro out. So I went for the iPad Pro, 12.9 inch, and it's 256 gigabyte. So this will be more than capable of producing the videos. Uh, it's got, what is it, iFitty, whatever it is on it. So what I'll try and do, this video I'm recording now, it's actually being recorded on the iPad Pro, and I'll try and do all the editing for this video using the iPad Pro. So fingers crossed that works. To get the images from your camera from the SD card onto the iPad Pro, you use a wee adapter. A lightning to SD card camera reader. So it's a wee lightning plug there and an SD socket there so again end up on the iPad stick your SD card in and assume Bob's your uncle so that's okay 
Microphone wise, I use the Rode Video Mic Pro. It's a shotgun style microphone which sits on top of the camera. And we've also got one of the, the dead cats to help with the uh, the sound. Now at the minute I'm recording the audio on this sure microphone. I don't think I'll bring it with me. I think I'll bring the wee GoPro session. You know, it's handy. You click a button you're recording or you're time lapsing. So I think it'd be uh, yeah, I'll definitely take it with me for all the size it takes up. Uh, I think I'll finish this portion of the video here. Whenever I come back, it will be videoed using the uh, the Canon with the 24mm lens. And hopefully it all works out okay. And then I'm going to talk about more of the, the holiday and what I'm planning to do video-wise, content-wise, while I'm away. So stay tuned and I'll see you in a minute. We're now using the Canon AOS 750D with the 24mm lens on it, sweet pancake lens, it's a very tiny thing and I haven't put on the Rode shotgun microphone, we're just using the camera's own internal microphone. I just want to educate myself a bit on how the microphone works and distances and that. I haven't got any overhead lights on uh, and again I've got fish tank behind me. So the room isn't overly bright but I just want to get an idea off the light level so I can use the camera in. So, Thailand, I'm going to do my own wee sort of series for for Thailand. Now, I know if you Google it or YouTube it, there's a million videos about Thailand. 90% of them are sort of based around the bar scene. Mine won't be based around the bar scene. A lot of them are based around the budget how cheap can you do it? You know, the backpacker scene, or the expat living there, or who has retired uh, to the country. And it's basically most of the videos are how cheap can we done and, and the budgets and giving you options for low cost living, which is fantastic if you actually are living there, or if you are a backpacker and you're going, you're traveling around for a year or two, that's dead on. But whenever you're going as a family, now we're away for a month, so it's quite a long time. But, you know, it's different priorities. Nice hotels are a priority. All the food in general is good, from the street food to the high-end restaurants. They're all good. But this is my, this is the fat gents take on Thailand. Now I've been going for quite a few years. I've got a good idea in my head what I want to do in the videos. Whether or not it pans out is another thing. But I've done all the tourist things. I've went to all the temples and climbed all the steps and battered myself around all the weekend markets. I've no intention of doing that while I'm away this time. I want to go relax and switch off with the family. And hopefully their videos will reflect this. Again, if you want to see the touristy things, there's a bucket load on YouTube, other people, and there's some great ones out there. A common thing for the people in doing the travel vlogs is to walk around with the, the phone on a selfie stick or the camera on the stick fitting themselves while they're walking down the street which is brilliant for setting the ambience but walking down the street in Thailand I'm a sweaty mess right? even in the hotel room half the time I'm a sweaty mess there's no way that I want to fit in myself walking down the street so that's out of the question, there'll be none of that it's just going to be some ambient shots talking over my usual style, I'll drop in photographs, I'll drop in video, I'll drop in photographs of food. But what I want mainly to do is give a lot of travel tips and hints for people who maybe haven't been before. Because to be honest it can be quite a daunting place if you've just stepped off the plane. It can be a daunting enough place considering most of the taxis don't speak English. A fair percentage are there. A fair percentage don't know where they're taking you. So you need to educate yourself as a holiday maker, as a tourist. You need to educate yourself a lot about where you're going. Because there's a good chance the taxis won't. 
but this will all be covered in the further videos uh, whenever I get there I want to do like a wee introduction video and I'll need some footage filmed on site in situ out there so I'm really looking forward to putting them together I don't know how many I'll make if there's enough to make a video every few days every two or three or four days I'll do it if not it'll be one a week but hopefully it'll be interesting hopefully it will give a bit of a new twist or it will give my perspective certainly uh, on what's out there look I'm just going to hit a button here to see if it adjusts the focus right I've just put the square on my face now I don't know if that's going to help or not but from what I'm seeing on the viewfinder I really like the look of this lens it's about one meter from my face and it's given a good it's given a good sort of segment it's given a good backdrop so hopefully this uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the photographs transferred over to the iPad Pro using that adapter and I'll try tonight or maybe tomorrow I get the video finished and get it uploaded onto YouTube by the way the wee photographs of the Siamese of the Samurai Warriors I was trying to see the different depth of field it was only they were photographed from literally a few inches away and I've got a you'll see it's staggered it's focused on the first the middle and then the third character so just to test out the bokeh on the lens and that and uh, again I haven't seen them on the big screen I've only seen them on the viewfinder but they look fairly decent so uh, we'll take it on then on our holidays and hopefully the videos will start next week thanks for watching good night